digit line problem. Uh, this is a problem that we're going to use to help us calculate uh, what we like to call the derivative. Uh, it's going to be a fun little process, but let's talk about a little bit about it. The notion of the limit is fundamental to the study of calculus. The following brief description of two classic problems in calculus, the tangent line problem and the area problem, should give you some idea of the way limits are used in calculus. In the tangent line problem, you are given a function f uh, and a point p on its graph and are asked to find the equation of the tangent line to the graph at point P. So as you can see, here's a little example of what we're trying to do. So we uh, have a graph, we have point P right here, and we need to figure out what is the slope of the tangent line at this little uh, point P, where it uh, intersects with the graph. So we're going to look at a little uh, specific example here. So here's our function, f of x is equal to the square root of x and the point 4, comma 2. So if you think about uh, just a little brief uh, drawing here of our graph, obviously that's going to be an ordered pair. We'll be one here and then 4, comma 2. And uh, I need my little pen here. That would make it a lot easier for me. So let's also do 9, comma 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So using our new uh, nice little computers here to help me out a little bit, so that's fun. Uh, so we're going to come up with just a couple things. So uh, 4 comma 2, obviously we know 4 comma 2. Let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 2. It's right here. So we want to know what is the slope of the tangent line that uh, touches the graph at that point. So, well, let's just say that we're going to get a little bit closer and closer. All right, so what if our point was this point right here? Okay, so what we're actually going to do is we're going to calculate, well, what's the slope of the line that passes through those two points? So now, instead of being a tangent line problem, what we're really doing is we're talking about a secant line problem. So uh, we're basically saying if we were to connect those two points right there, what would our slope be? Pretty basic stuff. You guys have been doing slopes for quite some time. Obviously, it's going to be the vertical change over the horizontal change. So this ordered pair would be 0, 0. And we are comparing that to the point 4, 2. So our vertical change to go from 0 to 2 is a positive 2. And then our horizontal change to go from 0 to 4, we increase by 4. So therefore, we will get a slope of 1 half. Pretty basic. We could have actually connected those two dots and found that slope easily on our graph. Let's see if we can't look at the next one, if I can select the green. Uh, so now we're comparing it with this point. So now, as you can see, even though our slope's not going to be accurate to the slope of that tangent line, when we get closer and closer to the point at which we want to find the slope of the tangent line, uh, we're going to get more accurate. So this ordered pair is going to be 1, 1. Sorry, I'm still not used to using this pen, but that's okay. Uh, so let's again calculate our slope. Our y values increase by 1, so the vertical change, positive 1. The horizontal change, positive 3. So now we calculate our slope to be 1 third. So again, we kind of look at the graph and realize, well, that's not the most accurate thing. It doesn't look exactly like the slope of the tangent line. And we've done a couple other ones. So let's say we're at 3. So 3 would obviously be right here. Now that's not as uh, pretty for us because it doesn't end on an integer, so the ordered pair would actually be 3 comma square root of 3. And uh, in finding the slope of our line, our uh, vertical change, uh, the square root of 3 I've already typed in the calculator and then subtracted 2, so I got this decimal 267. And then our vertical change is a positive 1. So uh, you'll end up getting your slope to be decimal 267. Uh, and then if we use a point past it, so say we use this as our ordered pair, so now, as you can see, uh, that would be x equal to 5, which would be the ordered pair of 5 comma square root of 5. And then calculating the slope, you'll get decimal 263. So even though we've just done some basic, basic calculations, hopefully you can see that uh, our slope is actually going to be somewhere between those two things. So we're going to say it's going to be approximately uh, decimal 25 or an approximation of 1 fourth. And what we'll do is we'll look at our uh, nice little calculator down here and see if it makes sense. Let's see if we can get it turned on. Here's the graph of the square root of x. And I've already typed in the uh, linear equation of slope decimal 25. And we'll see if we can't graph it. 
So graphing, you can see uh, that would be the tangent line to our wonderful little graph that we have here. And we can go to trace. Nope. Well, yeah, I can type in 4, hopefully. So there's the point x, uh, 4, comma 2. And then that's the point at which we are trying to calculate the tangent line. And it looks like those two things could actually be uh, touching at that very same point. So this is kind of the, the tangent line process to where to find the slope of a tangent line, what we're going to do is we're going to find our point, 4, comma 2. And we're going to use other points and get closer and closer to that point so that the slope is actually going to be uh, approximated using our tangent line concept.